Hi everyone, it's Chris from Leaks Last Hope, and today I'm here with a quick little video on um, how to make good looking cinematics in, um, with the creator suit. Because I got some people asking for it, so I thought, hey, why not make a little tutorial ish kind of thing? The first thing you're gonna need is the creator suit. So we're gonna have this. <coughs> it's overall just a very handy tool in general. Um, first thing you gotta do is change this to FPS tool. So now it's FPS, if you wanna change it back, you can change it back. You can also put. Um, uh, keyframes uh, with a directed camera and then change them back to uh, FPS. If you want to start off or like end with um, the directed camera, you can do that. I'll explain what uh, keyframes are in a bit. Um, so first of all, things look kind of shitty right now. That's because I have um, my normal settings, game settings. I have everything on very low. So I just quickly change everything to high. As you can see, like the, the, the background here. If you don't have the best PC, it can sometimes and crush it. Okay. As you can see, things start looking a little bit better. I like to turn off the fog as well. Um, and considering my PC isn't the best, what I like to do is I record for, uh, things first in um, 0.25 speed. That way, um, I then in the um, in the editor itself, I speed it up again uh, times four, and I'll basically have the the same speed. That way, I get the the, the base the base speed without the lag that I'm having right here because it like cuts down on the lag. Okay, so you took away Fog of War, got into FPS, what do you do now? Something you, you probably want to do is go to uh, interface and change, I mean sorry, into hotkeys and change um, um, uh, change the setting for, um, for the HUD, to hide the HUD, which for some reason keeps Deleting. I like having it on H for no reason whatsoever. What else do you need? I usually uh, touch this uh, field of view. I mean, you can like have like a what's it called? A fish eye kind of view. You can have like this very who trippy view. Far clip. Uh, far clip. However, this is something I um, do sometimes kind of want to change. Um, for example, if I wanna wanna have a somatic shot of this demo and like uh, nothing else. What I can do is like, um, let's do it like this. I can change this to 600 or something. Okay, there we go. See how we, it's only this demo, and then later in the skybox, what I do is I change it to um, color green. There we go. Then I go to visibility, take away the environment, and that way I can make a cinematic shot of just demo. Uh, while we are at environment, I'm just gonna quickly put that back. I always like to take away this one, this one, hover outlines. Floating text, um, all the health bars, except maybe champion health bar um, when like making an outplay at 5 HP or something. For backgrounds, you uh, usually have a couple. Um, I think I want to use this one. I like this one. Um, however, I don't like the, the, the current position of where it is. Um, so instead of changing the sun direction, which, is, which I'll show what it is right now, what I'm gonna do is change the skybox offset a bit and change a little bit like this way and like that. Change the, um, the direction of the skybox. You can rotate it only in one, di one direction like this. You can, however, I want it a little bit lower like that. There we go. That looks pretty. But notice the shadows look a little bit off. Look, see how the shadows look like that? That's why we change the, the sun direction. Where's the sun? Where's the sun? Where's the sun? Where's the sun? There we go. I never know which way I gotta turn it around, but... I discovered this, like, not so long ago. But it... Whenever you use it, it makes your uh, cinematics look amazing. Look at it already... See how it already looks pretty... Pretty good like that? Doesn't look too bad. Like that. Okay. And things still look a little bit meh. Everything is like, there's a lot of going on, right? It's, that's why it looks shit. There's like, wherever you look, there's like things going on. There's things going on in the background. And it's like, it's, it all looks good, but not, not, not really understandable. So what we're going to do, is we are going to go to this place where we're going to, where we want to start the cinematic, which is with me, of course, Katarina. Who else? <laughs> And turn this on. Field of view. There we go. This will like center the, the uh, center 
where the Kamada is focusing in the way. So, if I put the field of view here, I'll take away the debug. Like in the black part, it's where the where the camera will center. See how the the the, the background here looks very blurry, while the, the foreground, I mean the middle ground here with Catalina looks like very sharp. And then back here, I mean here in the front, it looks um, blurry again. That's basically what the, what it does, and I think that's like the biggest improvement you can have with this. Well, now you have um, everything looking pretty, but now you want the camera movement to not be like this. You want it to be very dynamic, right? That's my Discord, and I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> so, wh what you do is you go to um, um, keyframes, I mean hotkeys, wait, where's hotkeys? Settings, hotkeys, key keyframes. Uh, you put um, uh, camera position and camera rotation, Keyframes, those are the most important ones. Um, you put them on um, on some hotkey. Okay, so we press the, the two buttons of like you put the, you move the camera to where you want to start it. Uh, make sure you're not playing because if you're playing, you won't be able to move the camera. I, it took me so long to figure that out. Then you move um, the camera uh, while, while while you're playing. You just look, um, you go pausing it. But I just move it like this. And I move the camera to about where I want it. Um, what you can also do is have extra extra keyframes uh, for other things. So um, I often use um, the depth of field circles to change them. So if I want um, uh, want to keep the, the camera focused on Katarina, I will have um, uh, another keyframe at the position of Katarina right here, uh, making the depth of field at uh, that position. So I, I just change this up. I do like whoop. Like that, which I'm not gonna do right now. Well, I just change it, and then I um, put the keyframe um, on that position as well. So the keyframe will have st um, saved the position of your depth of field. Now, now from this point on, it's just all your creativity, basically. I wanna kind of want see what's going on usually. Oh yeah. Um, also, I've configured the the um, camera roll left and roll right on my um, on my numpad because that's where you move. Otherwise, uh, if you don't do that the base uh, the base keys won't let you roll. There we go. Now to chase. And now I want to end it with um, with a long with a long thingy with a long camera movement. What I'm gonna do is take this one and drag it all the way like over here. That way the camera movement will still be going and I can uh, pause the, the, the video like around here and uh, it won't be like a sudden uh, interrupt. Like, like something, you'd, you'd want to do something like this. It's just a very quick example uh, and I'm gonna show how it looks after so I'm gonna quickly stop recording so it doesn't lag too much. You can use the base recording here but um, as you can see, you can use uh, the base recording here, but I never use it. I just recorded with my uh, own um, uh, OBS. I have a, spe a specific button to record it. Then I click on start recording, and um, that's it. <laughs> then it records. And then uh, once uh, once I end, uh, when I'm at uh, around the last keyframe, then I stop it. That's basically how it works. I forgot to mention that um, uh, you always gotta hit um, uh, play first here. That way you start the, the, the scene itself. When that's done, all you gotta do is speed up the the, um, the footage you got, and well, there you have your clip. The rest is all just creativity from there. I hope this was useful for the for all the new editors out there, and I hope you all have an amazing day.